Hey y'all, it's your girl Ayana or Artful Aya. Today I'm making a custom rolling tray. And yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you the trial and errors that it took for me to make this rolling tray. But yeah, it came out, it's coming out really cute. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Here is the rolling tray that you're gonna use. It's, I got this from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> so I'm cleaning it off and using this gesso. It's from Liquitex. I use it on my trucker hats and it's really good for fabric, but yeah, this is where the trial and error comes in. <laughs> I, um, you know, tried applying it, letting it dry, writing on it, um, painting on it. It just was not working. When I added this yellow layer, it was moving the gesso around um, underneath it. I had this Mod Podge here that I'm showing you that I will probably cover it with later. But yeah, I tried to add another layer of the gesso and let it dry again, just to see like maybe it needs two layers. Um, but yeah, I tried drawing on it again. And it just like scraped it up. Like it just did not stick to the glossiness of the tray. So yeah, <laughs> I'm still gonna like try to draw on it, but yeah, it just didn't work at all. <laughs> so here's my garage. I have a tray right here and I'm using the Rust-Oleum bonding primer. I'm gonna spray one coat because I really didn't think that I needed that much. Um, so yeah, just gonna spray this really quickly and then I'm gonna bring in the second tray that I sprayed because I wanted to compare these two sprays. So now I'm bringing in the Zinser 123 primer. I actually use this in my room DIY and I use it to prep um, my nightstand. So I liked that one when I used it then, so I just grabbed it again. Um, but the results definitely varied because the top one here is the Rust-Oleum and it just left so many like specks. It was very like uneven. It just gave it a lot of texture. But the bottom one is a Zinser and it was very smooth. Um, so I like the results of the Zinser more than the Rust-Oleum because yeah, just less texture to paint on. Um, very smooth. They have very smooth application. Only one coat was needed. But I like how the Zinser 123 primer came out. So it's very smooth. It has a little bit of texture right here, but that's not, um, that's nothing. Like this is smooth. That's like this little spot is nothing compared to all these freckles. It looks like a popcorn ceiling. <laughs> but I'm thinking that like maybe I could, I don't even know, maybe I could um, like rub it off. But I feel like if I rub it off, the yeah, you can start to see the silver. But this texture is like, it's gonna kill me. So yeah, the real test is Oh Lord, I thought it was, oh. Okay, so the real test is how the paint is going to lay on here and yeah. So, what I want to start with is, um, yeah, <laughs> what am I thinking about? Okay. So I know what I want to do. It's gonna be like bad bees smoke too. <laughs> and it's gonna be some lips, so. So 
so I don't really know how to make a mouth like that. <laughs> so I printed out this cartoon mouth and I'm just gonna cut it out and use it as a guide. I wanted it to be on this side, like this. So I'm just gonna trace it. Of course I need to make this um, wording, I mean letters a little better, but I like, I just wanted to see like where it fit really. So I think I like where it's going. So now I'm gonna, I want to do bubble letters. I'm gonna just, and I think I want to do all lowercase because I don't like the, I don't like the capital. Mm. I like the S right there, so I'm gonna keep that right there. Okay, now I'm gonna just bubble letter it. Oh, should I just put the I at this point? Because, like, what? Oh, there it is. So I finished. Um, yeah, I finished. <laughs> so it's definitely some eraser uh, remnants on here but i basically just erased all the letters that i wrote in order to you know do the bubble letters and erase the straight lines i use as guides and just tried to clean up most of it and make sure like i know see like right here i want the next words to overlap on top of the um, yeah so just doing like little things like that um so yeah now I'm going to paint it really I'm going to speed this up I'm not going to do much talking just you could just sit back and watch <laughs> Oh, what the heck? <laughs> so I did three coats of this peachy orange my phone <laughs> was recording in five minute increments and I finally got it to work for like 11 but yeah so sorry that you didn't see me painting the three coats and you probably won't see me painting the three coats of this that I'm about to do but let's just start I'm gonna paint this pink. I know that I said, oh, what about this? I'm thinking it's fuchsia. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this fuchsia color. So, yeah, I'm not gonna um, dilute, not dilute it, but use a white paint. I'm gonna just. 
with this and I'm gonna do multiple layers. So since this paint is very thin, I'm going to let it dry a little bit, come back, do another layer, and repeat that for probably two or three more times. I need, pro I probably will need like four coats to be honest, cause it's kind of very thin. It's not kind of, it is very thin. Um, so probably going to do this like four or five times but it dries pretty fast acrylic paint dries fast so It'll probably take like 20 minutes at the most but yeah so this is after like two three two two and a half kind of um, coats so I'm gonna I'm still gonna do like three or four more of those but I just want to move on to the tongue the um, just the whole mouth like I just want to do the whole mouth because if I'm gonna have to repeatedly add layers of this paint then I want to just do it all in one sweep so yeah I'm just gonna continue to add layers on layers on layers I'm thinking about giving <laughs> giving one of the teeth like gold. I think that would be cute. So I might do that. I probably will. But um, yeah. So I'm just going to clean up around the edges of the letters. But it's looking real cute. I'm real hype. <laughs> I'm hype. It's gonna come out real nice. I'm thinking like a blue background. Thinking like a blue background. I'm trying to figure out like the outline. I have this pink Posca pen, but I don't want it to mesh with the paint, but I don't think that it will, but but yeah, this is new, so I'm excited to use that. <laughs> or yellow. Nah. I wish I had like a more neon yellow with that, but yeah, because I only have four Posca pins so far, but um yeah, it's coming out real cute. I'm excited. I'm glad that the Zenser works better. I think that with this tray, I'm probably going to do something that's like rough. Not rough, but like more for men. Because the texture is killing me, honestly. But I was thinking of doing like an outer space one. So maybe like this could be, you know, outer space vibes. Yeah. <laughs> with the astronaut in the beginning. So, yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Or maybe like some rocks or, oh, asteroids. <gasps> yes. Oh, look at that. See, I, you could work with, you could work with both of them. But I do like the Zinser better. So, yeah. <laughs>
so I have this Posca pen. I'm nervous, but I'm gonna try it on something that I could easily paint over if I mess up. So. So, yes, new custom alert. I'm making these rolling trays for anyone. Whoever wants a custom, hit me up. <laughs> I'm going to be selling these at my next pop-up shop, which is on Saturday, August 14th in Washington, D.C. It's called Place and Time. It's at the new Mochella Art Gallery. And yeah, <laughs> I'm very excited. So you can come get your custom trays, your custom trucker hats, um, a print, something, you know, it's going to be lit. Come out if you're in the DMV. I will link the ticket link down below. So yeah, come out and support, support Artful Aya, support all the other artists and performers that are going to be there, and yeah. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video until now. I know I didn't show the ending of how I finished the rolling tray, but you will see it this Saturday. I'm definitely going to take pictures. It's going to be on my Instagram. So follow me at artful underscore Aya. And that's where you will see all of my updates regarding this pop-up shop, what I'm making, the behind the scenes, the footage of me there. So yeah, let me know if I should make like an art vlog. Like, should I record that? Like, should I record that event? Let me know. I don't know. <laughs> if you would like to see that, then leave a comment or give me a like. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this pop up. So, yes, thank you for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for next Sunday. And, yes, stay artful. <laughs>